Hi folks, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a demo of how to configure a cache transformation within SQL Server Integration Services. So I'll do um, do five things during this um, during this um, demo. Uh, first of all, I'll talk about the objective of the video. Then um, talk about the some considerations when using a cache lookup transformation. I'll talk about the um, the basic steps. Um, that you need to go through, then um, give you the detailed um, demo of how to configure a cache lookup, and finally I'll talk about some additional resources uh, that you may find useful, both for um, uh, this um, this demo and also other SQL Server um, um, tutorials. So the objective of this um, of this um, video is to uh, show you how to configure a cache transformation to enable the use of Excel data in a lookup transformation. So what we're going to do is link charge information in a um, text file to region information within an Excel file. That um, that Excel file will be used as a lookup and then we'll join the information together into a final output file. So um, three considerations. Um, or you know things to I suppose note um, cache transformations allow to you allow you to utilize almost any data source within the lookup transformations. So that's a bit different than a um, standard um, OLDB um, uh, connection um, lookup connection, um, where the data has to be within a um, within a, a database uh, file. Um, good thing about cache transformations is that they're generally pretty uh, they're more efficient than querying a database um, with non-cached data. And uh, finally, the, um, the bonus is that once the data has been loaded up into cache, it can be shared both um, between packages and also within a, uh, within a package. It can be used multiple times within a, um, within a single package. So two basic steps. First of all, you need to load the, um, the data you want into the cache. So in this case, we'll load the Excel data, so region information to the cache, and then we use the cache, inf cache information in the uh, in an actual lookup. Okay, so we've got a couple of data sources. This is our Excel data source with customer ID and region in it. Um, we've also got the text data source, um, which is the charge information. So. Um, customer ID and charge um, data. So what we need to do um, is basically connect those together. So um, I'm going to go into um, Business Intelligence Development Studio and um, start up a new uh, new package, new integration services package. I'll just call it um, um, Cash uh, Example. Okay, so first thing we need to do here is to um, uh, go into the control flow and we're going to uh, try out a data flow task. So what we'll do with this first data flow task is we'll use two data flow tasks in this package. This first one is what we're going to set up the, um, the uh, pull the information, pull the uh, region information up into, into cache. So now that we've got this data flow task, I'll we'll double click on it. And then we're going to, uh, since the data we're going to pull in is via Excel, we're going to pull in an Excel data flow source. So that'll allow us to connect to the region file. So we double click on that, go into a wizard situation. So we go new um, connection manager. This then allows us to navigate to the Excel file, region data. There we go, that's fine. Then we identify the sheet, which I think is region again. Click columns, that all looks good. Customer ID and region. Click OK. Um, what I'm going to do is also just double check that the data is in, is in the right format. So it's quite often Excel will um, will do funny things with data sources. So I'm just going to force the, uh, the data, the customer ID data, to be. Um, to be in a, in a string um, format. So I'll just call that customer ID um, string. Um, so that is good. So then what we're going to do now is pull the data um, into a um, cache um, 
So drag the cache transformation in, connect it up with the green line, double click on cache transform, we can create a new connection manager, so we'll just call this cache uh, CM or cache connection manager. That's all we need to do within the general tab. Then we click on the columns. So this is where it's not particularly intuitive. Um, what you need to do is the column which you're going to connect the uh, the uh, the two data sources with. So essentially the join field. You need to set that to one. Um, other data which you're going to look up, you can set that to um, to zero. So just click OK. So now we just check the mappings. Mappings look uh, good. So I'll just break that customer ID mapping because we don't need to pull that. Um, pull that in. So I'm just going to delete that out. Actually, no, I'll just leave it up. Just leave it. Keep things easy. Click OK. So that will allow us to load the data into, into the cache. Now we go back into the control flow and we want to drag another data flow task in and then link the two um, data flow tasks together. So that means that there's a this first data flow task, which is the load cache, is the uh, one to execute first, and then the second one is the essentially the lookup. What we do is we then double click on the lookup, and we um, what we want to do is load the uh, the charge information. And so by the flat file source, double click on it. So it's a new flat file connection manager. Um, we'll just call it charge. We browse to it, click on it, click open, column names, the first uh, data row. There we go, that looks like it's loaded fine. We're not going to play around with any of the settings within the uh, within the advanced tab. That all looks good. Let's check columns, yep, that's fine. So we've loaded charge information. Now what we're going to do is run a, um, a lookup. So we drag the lookup transformation on. So this lookup will utilize the, um, the Excel data that's been pulled up into the cache. Double click on the lookup. We're going to, rather than using the OLDB, which is the, sort of the standard um, sort of uh, connection type, we're going to, since we're, the data is in cache, we're going to use the cache connection manager. One thing to note is how to specify or sorry, specify how to handle rows with no matching columns. For the purpose of this, we're just going to ignore any non-matching columns, but you may want to set it to things like redirect rows to an output, um, depending on your situation. So, connection. So, the connection we just created was, of course, connection CM, so that's great. So, we've identified that data that's been stored up in the cache. Now, we want to um, connect these um, these data sources. So it's customer ID down to customer ID string. So that allows us to then connect it up. And we're going to pull back region information. Like I say, I'm not going to worry about pulling back customer ID information. And then we click OK. So that is really it. So what we need to do is just to, rather than actually just piping this data off to a destination, I'm going to drag a derived column transformation down connect up to it and then hang a, um, a, um, a data viewer on that. So that will allow us to see the output of this lookup. So I'm just going to right click on the green join, look at data viewers, add, click OK, click OK, and then we can just run, run this, I'll just save this, set it running, and hopefully we'll see charge and region information uh, together. So there we go, customer ID, charge information, region information. Okay folks, so that was configuring a cache transformation within uh, SQL Server Integration Services. If you have more information on integration services, um, a couple of resources I'd suggest, come across to my, um, my website. Um, has stacks and stacks of information, so that's analyticsinaction.com, uh, has lots of information on uh, integration services such as you know, building tables with integration services, setting up lookup transformation, scheduling packages, using various uh, transformations such as um, 
you know, pivots, um, pivots, standardizing date formats, um, working with connection managers, um, and also lots of um, overview type um, uh, tutorials on integration services for folks who are just, uh, just starting to learn it. Um, yeah, so um, the other good thing too is um, I've also got the demo files um, associated, uh, the hyperlinks, uh, so you can download the, uh, the demo files. Um, so just um, get the uh, YouTube video name and then uh, copy that and just put it into the search bar and that will take you to the, uh, to the actual uh, tutorial and the associated hyperlinks. Um, yeah, so the other option is to actually subscribe to my YouTube channel. This way um, you'll get notified every time uh, I update, uh, produce another video. I try and do that every one to two weeks.